Hey guys, Briar Goat Killer here. Coming at you today with a video on an easy mechanical advantage uh, game hoist system that any hunter can carry in his pack. Um, now a couple weeks ago, uh, if you remember, Dave Canterbury did a video using the fork of a tree to uh, create a change of direction pulley point uh, for trying to hoist a deer, and I think that'll work great. Um, but you know, I don't generally carry a lot of rope with me. Um, and what he had would probably work with 550 cord, which is what I carry for my cordage. Um, but maybe not. Maybe it want to bite into that. So it got me thinking. And, you know, I have some ropes experience, some climbing experience, um, and some rescue uh, class experience. It got me thinking about, you know, what a mechanical advantage is and how it works um, and what I could put together that I could carry in a small package. Uh, while I'm hunting in any hunting pack, uh, much less a three-day pack where you're going to be miles into the woods um, and, need, and maybe need to hang up a, a deer to keep it, you know, to get it cooled down or to keep it away from uh, predators or whatever um, after you harvest one. So here it is. Consists of uh, two little pulleys, 50 feet of five by 50 cord. That's it. So hold on just a second, let me get this camera set up. I'll show you how it works. Total weight on that, you know, I haven't weighed it, but it's less than a pound. Cool, hang on. So let's take a quick look at the components of the system before we demo it. Um, like I said, you got two of these uh, carabiner type things, um, and they're rated for about 200 pounds each. And you can pick the, you can pick all this up at Lowe's or Home Depot or really any uh, any hardwood uh, hardware store. Um, and then you got two of these pulleys, <clears throat> and they're rated for about 75 pounds. Um, but you know, in my opinion, those ratings are safety minded so that people don't you know hang on them and hurt themselves. I think this will hold much more than 75 pounds. Um, but the animals that I kill here, southeastern whitetails. <clears throat> they're not once they're field dressed. Um, they're not going to weigh more than 75 pounds very rarely And uh, like I said, I wouldn't uh, hesitate to use this on something But if you're a Western hunter looking for something like this, you know, you can size these up to 150 pound rated ones And uh, you should be good for elk quarters or whatever you might encounter So you got here's going to be just a loop paracord loop your main anchor two pulleys with two of these little small carabiners 50 foot of uh, cord for your main uh, hoist. Another little anchor point to either go, uh, you know, to go through the uh, hocks of the animal, uh, or clip into your uh, to your carabiner here. And then another short piece of rope with a loop tied in one end to just loop through the hock and tie on to your main line to stabilize your animal. This will be a one leg lift system. All right, let's see how it works. And what we're going to be lifting here today is this old Forest Service grill. A lot of iron right there, guys. Anyway, um, it probably weighs 40, 50, maybe 60 pounds. I'm not the greatest judge of weight. I can lift it up with one hand, but I'm having trouble. Um, anyway, but it'll give you a good idea of what a small deer is going to weigh dressed out. You know, if it's a 75, 80 pound whitetail dressed out probably going to weigh about like this is going to weigh. So uh, anyway, and you'll see with the ease of how I lift something that weighs 50 pounds up um, that, you know, with not much of a struggle, I could probably lift something that weighs 150 pounds up. Um, and this is just what I have readily available here. Uh, so that's that. So I got my anchor rope, I just tossed it over the limb, hooked in my carabiner, and this uh, top pulley is going to be what's referred to in, t in rope tech terms as a change of direction. Um, having a rope going through a pulley and down to your load is not creating a mechanical advantage at all. It's, it's, it, 
Well, I say it's not creating a technical mechanical advantage. It certainly makes for smoother pulling, okay? But you're still pulling all the weight. The mechanical advantage comes in when your pulley is on the load. This is the only thing that creates a mechanical advantage. And what we're going to have here is a pulley with a carabiner and a little anchor rope hooked on your load that you're actually lifting. That creates a two to one mechanical advantage with a smooth pull and change of direction up top. So let's check it out one time. There's our rope going up to our tree. Going through our pulley, our change of direction pulley, down to our load, through our mechanical advantage pulley, and back up and just tie it onto the side. Let's see, yeah, just tie it onto the side of our change of direction pulley. Just like so. This all swivels so when it comes under stress, it'll settle to where it needs to go to make itself work. All right, that is a two to one mechanical advantage with 550 cord. That's probably, in my opinion, gonna be a 150 pound test. You could size all this up to get a bigger weight out of it if you needed it, I don't. Um, and like I said, anybody can carry this. It weighs less than a pound. And you got 50 foot of paracord there. I mean, if you're already carrying 50 foot of paracord, you could add those pulleys and carabiners to your kit you know, for a half a pound and uh, and have yourself a nice game hoist. So let's see how she works. I'm trying out a new unipod, so if it seems like the camera's shaking, it's because of this. So all you gotta do is grab on and back up. some tension on that guy you can either go around and around your tree or around the limb if you got a convenient limb like I have on this one and BAM you got it off the ground in the wind where the meat could cool you can go ahead and skin it if you want to do that easier to dismember it it's easier to keep your animal uh, clean this way not get dirt and leaves and debris in the carcass um and I'm gonna be touching this on my public land hunts this year uh, it's working out great so far so cool hope you like that and I uh, hope you give it a try for all you public land hunters out there we'll see you on the next one